you see yourself and how you define yourself, and then when you start looking at how creative you can be with what your opportunities are. So I've asked Mark to come in and talk to you about the company that he's founded, and in part because I also think it's an opportunity for you to network. And understanding you know, what the power of being an alum is and what it means to be connected to alums is all part of this. We're all part of one great big network. Right? And so this is just an opportunity to see it um, and for Mark to tell you a story and then for you guys to let that percolate in ways that it impacts you, that's the important part here. Right? But with any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Mark. Marcus Davis, if you would like to come up and chat with these folks and tell them your story. Oh, appreciate you having me. Oh, yeah, for sure. So my name is Marcus Davis. I am the founder of Bright House Basketball Skill Development, also an alumni and a basketball alumni of Lake Superior State University. It's a great place where it's super cold. But I'm gonna just tell you a little bit of my story, how everything got going and what I actually do. Just I'm just here to really give you a different outlook rather than the traditional approach of always going to somebody else asking for a job. So what uh, what is Grind House? So, Groundhouse is a skill development company. We travel throughout the United States and Canada. Okay, we work with individuals who are, whose skill level range from beginner, so usually about four years old, to professional athletes. I have about five professional athletes under my belt right now. Um, it's based in Romulus, Michigan, but it originally started here in Sault Ste. Marie, here at Lake Superior State University. Um, I basically created it to assist some athletes in reaching their maximum potential through vigorous on-court training, mental training, and strength conditioning, which I all learned here at Lake State. So here is our, our mission and our vision. Okay, Our mission is to develop athletes' overall skill, build their confidence, help athletes tap into their maximum potential. We strive not only to create great athletes, but better people in and out of their sports. Okay, so it's really big for us just not to work on the athlete's physical abilities, but also their mental abilities, because ultimately I want all of my athletes to receive a scholarship. Okay, you have to have the brains to also receive a scholarship. Okay, but also that character development, because we know sometimes some some athletes can be buttholes. Okay, and I don't want those type of cats. So we develop them through, we take them through mental training, physical training, training, and also character development. Okay, our vision is to, uh, help athletes achieve their athletic aspirations and fitness goals by outworking the competition. So that outworking the competition is really, really big for my, for my athletes because they aren't always the most talented, but I make sure they'll, they'll outwork anybody. Okay, you'll put them against anybody, they'll run circles around them. Okay, our vision is to put these athletes in the best position to be successful by providing the best service, providing the best trainer, which is me, and the best programs. Okay, so a little bit about myself. I'm a native of Romulus, Michigan. That's about six hours from here, five and a half, depending on how fast you drive. Okay, I'm one of five children. I'm the middle child. You know everything about the middle child. The middle child is a problem child. So I, I grew up a problem child. Okay, I'm what you call a, a, a walk on. So when I first, I actually didn't receive a scholarship directly out of high school. I walked on to a community college. There I was awarded a scholarship because I worked everybody. I actually thought everybody loved basketball as much as I did, but they didn't. So I just ran circles around everybody else. Didn't have crazy jumping ability. My jump shot wasn't as nice as it was as it is now, but I just outworked you. My coach would teach us a skill and I would stay hours and hours after practice until I got it down. Okay. I'm an alumni of this great university. I actually wish this building was finished when I was and I was taking classes, but hey, look at me now. All right, so I was the former strength coach for uh, for Lake State. Actually, was Sam's strength coach. Hey, Sam got a little bit of muscles, that's nice to me. <laughs> um, I started running house while, while playing here. It was, the reason I started it is one of my teammates kind of gave me the, the idea and the name for it. I was already training kids because that was in my heart, but I, I would go to college games, like not college, high school games here and I would just see it and I was just like this is gross I do not like this at all so I found a need in the community and I met it there wasn't a lot of people who would teach basketball it necessarily didn't have the skill set and the mindset I had in terms of developing athletes so I saw that need and I met it um, I actually have 
13 going on 14 years of experience working with kids. I was a camp counselor from the time I was 14 until I started college. During college, I just used to work these different various basketball camps. That's kind of how I started doing the basketball camp thing. Eventually, I just started my own. These are some of the services we offer. We offer individual training. That would be like kind of like a personal trainer, one-on-one -on -one type deal. Okay, we do team and group training where we focus on <laughs> The basketball players IQ. I, I I started with I think it was five players out in Brimley over the period of like five years and they became the number one team in the state. Um, we hold camps and clinics. We actually hold our largest camp here in the summertime. Uh, it's Grand House BSD five day camp, which Dr. Stat usually comes in. He's one of my guest speakers and the kids absolutely love it. We do a preseason clinic. That's actually why I'm up here. So I just happen to be up here running my annual preseason clinic and I came in to chat with Dr. Stepp as I always do and he was like, you should come talk. So like, let's do it. And we made it happen. I also run uh, various free clinics just to give my services back to my community and communities wherever I am. I also do a lot of consultations where I do live brain breakdowns, uh, help kids get into college, help them prepare for college, build their bodies up for college, how to select the school and I actually just recently started this part, but I teach other people how to start basketball camp businesses. I have uh, four people, they're all overseas. I have a teammate from Russia who I showed how to run it. His, his is almost bigger than mine now. I have a teammate in Greece who does it, and I have, but those are the services we offer. So Dr. Stat wanted me to kind of tell you what my vision is for Brian House. So, Right now, we're working on running year-round basketball, a year-round basketball academy where we'll run seven-week sessions all the way through. So it's basically like a basketball school. I'll be starting sport combines like athletic testing for like NFL, NHL type testing. I'm actually working on also starting a nonprofit that uh, that works on teaching kids how to read. That's in the inner cities. That goes with that literacy program. Just a few closing remarks I, I have for you guys. It's kind of what got me to where I am, but so I just wanted to share that stuff. I really truly believe if you're gonna learn anything, you should teach it to other people. Whatever you learn, give it away, okay? And it'll come back to you tenfold. Get around people who are better than you. So like Dr. Stepp, for instance, I didn't necessarily have a good vocabulary when I came here, but I was around Dr. Stepp every single day and you understand the big words he uses. I was infatuated with that. So I learned how to use big words. Okay, read more books. I didn't read my first book outside of outside of a college textbook until I was 21. Changed my life. Okay? This is a big one. Find a need in your community and meet it. Whatever it is, that's how you really leave a legacy. You find a need that's in your community and meet it. Okay? Get as much experience as you can while you're here. Like all of the, you guys still do the athletic testing and stuff. Get as much of that as you can. I lived in that lab. I stayed during the summers. I did the hockey, the USA hockey selection process with the young athletes. It was a great experience. And now I'm using all of those things that I got from here and I'm monetizing them and I'm making money off of them. Um, Go study successful people and see how they became su successful. And whatever you can take and apply it to your life, do that. It'll speed your learning curve up, okay? Also, create a habit of doing more than you're paid for. So give, give.